Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to use a problem-solving strategy to solve word problems. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this word problem. The product of two consecutive odd integers is 323. Find the integers. Okay. What is a problem asking? We want two consecutive odd integers, okay, that are being multiplied that equal 323. Well, if our first integer, if we call that end, our first integer, we say is n. We don't know what it is, let's call it n. And it's gonna be odd, but if the next integer, next one also has to be odd, the second one, If it's also odd, it can't be, well, n plus 1, it'd be n plus 2. Whatever the previous number was, we add 2 to it. So if the first number is 1, we add 2 to that, 3 is the next odd integer. But we don't know what the first one is. So really, we want to find what that first one is and go from there. So they tell us the product of two, con two consecutive odd integers is 323. We've labeled the first one being n, our second one is n plus 2. So n times an n plus 2 is the product, multiplying that, equals 323. Now from here, we want to well, solve this. Well, n times n is an n squared, plus n times 2 is a 2n, equals 323. If I subtract a 323 to both sides, I have an n squared plus a 2n minus a 323, and that equals, well, 0. Now I can solve this quadratic in many ways, but I'm going to solve it by factoring. Right here, n, n equals 0. What two numbers multiply to be negative 323, but add to be a 2n? I know off the top of my head, hence I've also looked at this problem. Negative 17 and a positive 19. 17 times 19 is 323, or specifically a negative 17 times a positive 19. But they add together to be a positive 2. From there, we solve each one individually, which we can do up here. n minus 17 equals 0. n equals a positive 17. And n plus a 19 equals 0. And n equals, subtract both sides by 19, negative 19. So these are the two values we want to work with. Notice, it's not, these aren't our answers here. Okay? This is what possibly n could be. Now they would be consecutive odd integers, so let's go test that out. Uh, n equals a 17. All right, let's go test that first one out. If n equals a 17, that means the next integer, consecutive odd integer, would be 19. So 17 times a 19, what does that equal? Well, we kind of already know 17 times 19 is a 323. So 17 times 19 works here, it's a 323. Now what about the second one? n is equal to a negative 19. Well, plus if I put a negative 19 here, the next consecutive odd integer would be a negative, 19, uh, negative 17, right? So the first one is negative 19 times the next consecutive odd integer, negative 17. Negative 19 times negative 17, what does that equal? Well, a positive 323. So we have two solutions here, two consecutive odd integers. The first one, 17 and 19. The next one also works as negative 19 and negative 17. Both of them are consecutive odd integer pairs, and while well, they multiply together to be 323. Hope you learned something here on how to use a problem-solving strategy to solve word problems. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.